Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to uninstall Microsoft Edge Browser if the uninstall button is grayed out. It looks exactly like this. And real briefly, I'm going to explain to you what happened. Somewhere around June 23rd of 2020, Microsoft took out the old Edge and updated it with the Microsoft Chromium Edge and then made it so you couldn't uninstall it. For example, if you click on Uninstall Updates, it's this one right here. If something un can be uninstalled, it'll show up right here. So watch uninstall some you can some you can't so you can't uninstall the update to get around it either but we can get rid of it you ready let's start by opening up file explorer highlight this code right here which I will put to a link to this guide in the video it shows up as a little eye up here in the video somewhere you click the eye and you can follow through right to this tutorial and get all this code because the next one's even longer so start up file explorer clear this out and you just do that by just pressing there so it's blue and then press control V and press enter and there's a reason we have to get to this folder in particular that's because depending on when you're watching this video you could have a different version and that folder will change so find the folder with the numbers on it open that up then go to installer now we're going to run a command prompt command right here Highlight all of that. Click copy. I hate to get extra letters in there with command prompt. Let's see here. There we go. Back to your file explorer. Clear that out. Type CMD. Press enter. There's your command prompt. Control V to paste those letters in. That little line I just gave you. Press enter and wait. It could be instant. And again, this isn't perfect because I've already done it once, so it looks like it leaves the folder there. So there's not much you can do about it, but at least it gets rid of it in the best way you can. So like I said, you just saw right there, still sitting there. But all the files are gone. You can actually delete that folder if you like. There you have it. So. Once again, it'll only take a couple of seconds and it'll be all done. So if you run into an error, so you type this code in right here and you run into an error, reboot your machine and try again. I've seen that a couple of times and it works fine after a reboot. So there you go. I would bookmark this page, control D. Doot, doot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have a funny feeling after the next feature update, if you take it out, they're gonna put it back. So you may have to fight this a couple of times. Finally, Check out down here. If you find out over time, it keeps coming back. You can't get rid of it. Here's a tutorial on how to disable Chromium Microsoft Edge from running in the background. Frankly, if you do that, that's almost as good as uninstalling it because once that's done, you don't have to worry about it running in the background. And how to view Windows updates, disable update products, some neat stuff in there that I hope you'll find handy. So, And there you have it. Unless uh, they change their mind, I know in my preview version, I can uninstall it again, so I don't know if they're bringing it back or not. But for the time being... This is how you uninstall the Microsoft Edge browser if it's grayed out. Piece of cake, right? Bottom right-hand corner, Major Geeks logo. Click that to subscribe. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.